I'm Jonathan from Rupert Neve Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to set up and use your new 551 inductor EQ. Remember, all 500 series modules require a separate rack and power supply, and today we're going to be using the Rupert Neve Designs R6. You will need some cables. Depending on the rack and the other pieces of outboard gear you're using them with, you will either need DB25 cables, XLR cables, or quarter inch TRS cables. For this example, we're going to be using XLRs. Remember, you want to make sure that you're plugging your source into the line input on the back of your rack and then taking another cable from the line output over to your interface, mixer, or another piece of outboard gear. You want to make sure you're using the right slot and the right input and output on the back of your rack, and after you power the rack, you'll see the blue LED light up on the 551. Now it's time for some sound. The first thing that you're going to want to do is turn on your 551 inductor EQ. Remember that inductor EQs are famous for their tonal coloration. That means that they can add warmth, weight, and sweetness to your recordings. On the midband, find the frequency that you want to adjust and then experiment with the high Q control. That means you're going to be adjusting a more narrow band of frequencies. On the high and low bands, here and here, experiment with the shelving controls. That means it literally creates a shelf starting at the frequency you've selected, either the high or low one, or a bell-shaped curve that's centered on the frequency you chose. If you want to remove some unwanted low frequencies from your recordings, engage the 80 Hz high-pass filter. And here's an interesting tip. Try boosting or cutting at 100 Hz right above that filter. That gives you a nice bump there, but takes away all the subsonics. Now it's time for you to record with your new Rupert Neve Designs 551 Inductor EQ. If you have any questions or you want to find out about more of the great gear that we make, please go to rupertneve.com. Happy recording!